This is gate 2016 set to electrical question number 15. The inductance and capacitance of a 400 kV 3 phase 50 Hz lossless transmission line are 1.6 million kilometer per phase and 10 nanofarad per kilometer per phase respectively. The sending end voltage is maintained at 400 kV. To maintain the voltage 400 kV at the receiving end, when the line is delivering 300 megawatts load, shunt compensator required is capacitive inductive resistive or zero. The hot NPTEL reference you can refer to module 2 lecture number 4 power systems operation and control course by the professor S.N. Singh, Department of Electrical Engineering, IIT Kanpur. Now for useful information you see, heart impedance is given by root over L by C where L and C are line parameters that is in per kilometer. But you see that there is heart impedance in independent of the length. Length independent. Now surge impedance loading is then given by 3 into V phase square by Zs which is V line square by Zs. Now if you see that the surge impedance loading which is given by SIL it is less than the loading on the line that is P load that implies ZL is less than Zs which implies that the line is inductive dominant. So if the surge impedance is more than the loading impedance on the line then the line is inductive dominant and if the loading is less then the load impedance is more than the surge impedance and hence the line is capacitor dominant so here you see that the 300 megawatt load is being drawn as the solution is coming 300 megawatt load is being drawn so for this let's find zl zl is what 400 because the line voltage is 400 kv so into 10 to the power 3 vl square divided by pl uh, PL is 300 megawatt so ZL is coming out to be 533.33 ohms the surge impedance is root L by C which is this is milli this is nano so 10 to the power 6 factor will come 1.6 by 10 into 10 to the power 6 whole root over so this is coming 400 ohms we see that the loading is less because ZL is more than ZS surge impedance so the loading is less actually since the load impedance is more than the surge impedance then the load actually on the line is less than the surge impedance loading in that case the line will be capacitative dominant which will increase which will tend to increase the receiving end voltage and to reduce that effect of increasing voltage we need inductive compensation so b is the correct answer thank you Oh,